On the 23rd of January 1943, U-606 is ready to depart on a new patrol. After her heroics sinking HMS Rodney, the Nelson-class battleship, the BDU have decided to offer a different mission this time out. U-606 and her crew are to sail north to Bear Island, where they are to construct a weather station. The Kriegsmarine, as well as the Luftwaffe, would find it immensely useful to have more accurate weather data for their disposal to plan upcoming operations. For this reason, we came up with a plan to set up an automated weather station on remote islands. Our meteorologists identified Bear Island as a promising target for such a deployment. Your order is to travel to the designated coordinates and set up the automated weather station on land. Once complete, you are free to engage any enemy vessels along the Arctic convoy routes. Hi everyone, welcome back to you, but here we are with the crew of 606. That is the unmistakable site of land, and that is indeed Bear Island. Just scoping out to make sure there is no ships or enemy contacts in the area. So this is the area we are going to probably have to march up to one of the top of these hills and set the automated weather station up and test it to make sure it works. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. We're um, hearing it here now. As you can see, it's uh, under the cover of darkness, but I don't think that'll last long. It's um, light is starting to actually no, it's not too bad at all. It's um, it's not even ten o'clock at night. I was looking for where the moon was. I thought we were going to have a lot of moonlight, but um, no, it's uh, slightly overcast, even though the clouds here don't suggest so. But um, yeah, no moon tonight, which is grand, which means um, this should be as light as it gets which is grand so if something does come on patrol it shouldn't easily be able to spot us right let's start to get the uh, shore party organized and get the equipment on deck ready to transport over and then we'll probably turn the u-boat round to make sure that if something does come on patrol we've got the the pointy end pointing towards the enemy. Yeah, we don't want the uh, the rear pointing towards the enemy as we've only got one torpedo that way. Uh, we won't be able to defend ourselves particularly well. Right, we are in position. Let's start making this then. Uh, the weather station. That's the place. Your orders tell you to deploy the weather station near these coordinates. Right, let's send the team to the coast. Right, what we'll do, we'll send... We've got an extra um, hand on this uh, patrol. Um, we've got um, Jonas, uh, Jonas Miller, Muller, sorry, who has uh, joined us as we've now been allowed to have an extra officer on board. So we've got three leadership officers, two engineering officers and one sound engineer officer. Uh, if we can maybe build up again to get a seventh officer on board, I'll probably get another um, sound engineer. But let's send Jonas. Um, what we'll also... Oh, actually, what he can take is... Um, oh, I assume the weather, for, weather station is going with them. I'll send the engineer, the sound engineer, the radio man, because obviously it's going to be a radio telemetry that's going to feed back, so we'll need his expertise. And we'll send an engineer because... Obviously, an engineer will be required. Look at, the, look at the medals and badges they've got. Fantastic. Send six able men, seamen with them. Let's send them on to their adventure. Okay, on the coast, our team arrives with no problems. There is no sign of human presence around. We should send a scouting party to search for a good spot to deploy the weather station. Right, let's uh, scout the area then. Okay, after their scouting team have been sent out, our scouting team found a good location to deploy the weather station and carried all components there. We can start assembling it. Right, let's start building this weather station. Hopefully with the engineer, this shouldn't take too long. Right, we've had to submerge the boats. We just had smoke on the horizon. 
So desperately, um, we've um, swung it around. Now the parents kept all over the place. All right, there we go. Where is it? There we go. We've got a Royal Navy destroyer. Is it? Uh oh. We've got three Royal Navy destroyers. It would seem. And it looks like they know we're here. Right, battle stations. Right, they're pinging us. The problem we have, we've only got 27 metres worth of water. We are not going to get away from them that way. We are going to have to fight, it would seem. I don't want to, but I don't see any other alternative at this stage. Um, what is it? Is it a tribal? No, it's got one smokestack. Maybe it's not a destroyer? It's not an attack craft. Is it in the... no? Oh, I've got Canada selected. Oh my goodness. Here we go. Um, so we've got one stack by the looks of it. Black Swan? Could well be. Velocity. We can get some T5s or some fat star torpedoes circling the area. That can certainly help us. Right. Gosh, he's close. Okay, of course we haven't got any torpedoes warmed up because the engineers have been aboard, but T3. Go turn right. Uh, because it's the fat, I'm not using the TDC. Fire. Right, what else have we got? That one's coming straight for us. We've got one behind us. Yes, we have. Put the T3 oh, okay. in. The rear. Um, turn left. Yeah, 800 meters. Fire. God, we are pinned in. Hit on the first. Okay, I think that torpedo's missed. But it, it's a. Oh god, we're moving. Um, but it is a fat, so it should be coming back. Oh wow, that first one sunk already. Look at that. One torpedo, and there's a. We think a black swan sent to the bottom. Now there's a torpedo zigzagging around here, so hopefully we might get lucky and it might come and um, strike one of these other U boats. Uh, we've got a T3, T3, T5. Okay. We can certainly have another shot with a T5. That should be another one of them dead. Uh oh, we're in real trouble. Periscope down. This is going to be extremely close. Okay, you can hear the destroyer going around us. We've actually hit the ground and we've won all stop. Hoping that we can hide in the shadow that is the seabed. No damage reported, which is a good sign. We've certainly scraped the belly. Yes, we were going down to 40 meters, but um, we've only managed to get to 24. 
it's very shallow. Of course, I don't have the hydrophone engineer on board. Uh, he's doing the uh, the radio on the uh, weather station, so I might get one of the um, well, the other officers to see if they can have a go, give us a bit of a crash course. Um, and then we've still got some torpedoes, which if we can get one away, that T5 should be able to at least knock out one of these destroyers. And then it's just one on one. Okay, we've got reports. One of our one of our, our engineer has been injured. Oh yes, look. Our um Muller is actually giving him uh oh, looks like some morphine or something to try and stabilize him. Oh, not good. Right, it's just two officers. We're down to two officers. Okay, Muller's gone on the uh, hydrophone for the moment. Um, we've managed to pick up um, Burmeister, so that's a good thing. He's back on um, on duty. He's actually reloading tube five, which could be very useful. See, one of the um, the black swan has gone out there. This is unknown. It looks like another black swan. That is just ahead of us. How far are we predicting that's ahead of us? Less than 400 meters. Cranky. There's been no further pinging. So I wonder if they think they've killed us. Okay, we've snuck up to periscope depth. Where are they? Where are they? There you are. It is a black swan. Let's recognize that. Speed, we don't. Oh, let's just put 10 knots in. Distance, we think it's about 500 meters now. Once we stabilize. Ah, oh, okay. They, they think we're still here. Right. Right, so let's get T5. Oh. Okay, we're. Periscope is really protruding there. Fire! Tube 5. Well, sorry, T. Tube 4 away, which is a T5. Oh, too many numbers. Okay, there they are. We're flooding tube five. We're gonna have a quick snapshot. Fire! Los! 40 Sekunden bis Torpedo Einschlag. Torpedo gone. Take us down. 30 Sekunden. What we got? T1, T3, T3. I'd love another T5, please. 10 Sekunden bis Einschlag. Okay, Trevor, we heard. 
it does good results. It's so shallow here, it's unreal. Um, so, there is the second one. So that, that's hit the bottom and that can't go down any further. Uh, we've got another one which is sunk over there. And the third one. Oh, you can still see the ensign. It hasn't. <laughs> that's how shallow it is. The uh, the mast and the ensign are still uh, above water. Right. Life rafts have been uh, distributed. This one. Oh, it's got a life raft, is it? Okay. I didn't know if that one had been abandoned. It's not been registered as sunk yet. So uh, we may just put a couple of. Um, shells into that one to um, snap it in half or make sure they can confirm it is sunk but um, yes uh, during the middle of that we also got a confirmation that the um, the building of the weather station has been complete so take a deep breath let's service the boat finish um, this is abandoned so let's finish this one off and um, yeah and then go and collect our boys from the shore yeah there's the life raft sailor we'll see if we can uh, offer some food and stuff um, as I say, they, they can make their way to Bear Island. Oh, actually, do we want them to go to Bear Island? Because they'll find the weather station. Hmm. Hmm. Who knows? Anyway, it seems like the uh, Royal Navy come here often on patrols. So they won't be out here for too long, I should not thought. Okay. And so, the deck gun has been manned. There is the uh, the ship. Lifecraft's very fair enough away. It's, um... There we go. That is what we needed just to confirm she's dead. She's not going anywhere because she's stuck in the sand. But, um. Yeah, there we go. Let them know. Three black swans taking on U606 was no match for her. We got a bit lucky at times. Those depth charges were incredibly close, but we were able to charge and turn sharply at the last minute. And the first one we were able to hide in the seabed and um, yeah and that last one we hit reverse and we were just about able to sneak away. But let's stow the deck gun and um, head closer to shore to bring our boys back. Okay then the boys on shore have uh, called in so they're testing the station. Weather well, station is now up and running we just need to test if it works to consider this mission complete. We can use our onboard radio to check if the station correctly transmits the data from the installed sensors. I like that. Canadian meter service. I like that. That's a clever ruse. <laughs> Let's go throw them off. Okay, with the boys back on board, we can get this, um, this radio transmission tested. And there we have it. Weather station. Decoder message. Temperature minus 4 degrees Celsius. Wind speed. Nine knots. There we go. Fantastic. Weather station mission has been complete. We are now free to patrol all the Arctic convoys and sink as what we can. We'll need to do a stock che check on what torpedoes we have left. Well, I think we fired four. Um, so we can certainly go and have some fun in the convoy lanes. Um, but yeah, let's start um, heading that way now and get out of this uh, Royal Navy hotspot. Okay, on the 7th of February, we've spotted smoke on the horizon. We'll see, it looks like a um, destroyer leading the way. No idea. Possibly uh, Liberty? No idea. No idea, no idea, no idea. That could be a Corvette or a destroyer. However, we've also got some smoke over here. Now, is that part of the same convoy which has been delayed? Maybe by another U-boat attack? Or... I don't know. Anyway, so we got the start of it here. And we've got a little clump there and a little clump here. That's a Corvette there. Maybe there's just two smaller groups merging I don't know anyway we're gonna try and get up here and um, set up for the attack because um, there's definitely what appears to be some large merchant ships in that so yeah we're gonna set up an ambush and see what we can do okay then we've got oh that looks 
Maybe a destroyer? Maybe a cruiser? No. Doesn't look um merchant navy anyway. We've got some more smoke over there, don't know. Then we've got this little corvette. And that looks like a corvette behind it. We've got some more smoke there. Um, this is a really weird convoy. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna have a suspicion that there may be a uh, a military capital ship in here, and I'm wondering if it was that if, that, if that's a cruiser. Can we can we select that cruiser? Yeah, there we go. So it's a cruiser um, task group. Um, so yeah, majority of these are going to be warships. There's the, obviously the Liberty, but um, I think we'll target the Liberty because that's definitely what we want to target. Um, so let's do that. Still quite a ways away. Um, so we're looking for freighters, and that's uh, a Liberty. Let's recognize that. I'm going to take a stab in the dark that they're doing seven knots, but let's do the calculation. Only way to be sure. And go. Six knots. Okay, stand corrected. I reckon it's seven, though. And she is seven kilometers away. Okay, we might need to close in. Having a look in the torpedo tubes, we've got a T3, T3, and a T1. All with fat, though. And what we've got in here, a T3. Okay, let's get... What is what is the depth of one of these? Uh, 7.2 meters. Right, let's get one magnetic. 7.2, 7.5, there we go. Ah no, you know what? Um, yeah, fire. Tube three, we're gonna go ma um, impact. I'll send that on the water. You turn right though. Fire. Another T one being loaded in. Okay, lovely. Okay, thirty seconds. Oh, that's the 30, 30 seconds. Oh, 40 seconds now for the second one. 30 seconds, 30 seconds, 40 seconds, apparently. 20 seconds, 30 seconds. 20 seconds then. 10 seconds, bis einschlag. 10 seconds here we go. Oh, that's the magnetic one. Took her out straight away, so we didn't need the second one, which is impact. So that's probably just going to hit the broken hull but that there she goes that is the broken hull and the bow is now separated completely the masts are defying gravity slightly but there she goes uh, and now everyone knows I'm here unless they can convince them they hit a mine but um, that may be a hard sell. Right, there's that cruiser. Let's have a look. Is that a Russian cruiser? Or Soviet cruiser? Let's have a look. Soviet, Sweden? No. Uh, military? Yeah. Kirov class. Heavy cruiser. Speed? Uh, we might be able to have a quick. What we got? I think we only got one torpedo left. One was being loaded. I mean, ready to fire. That is, because uh, it would be nice to have a shot at this um, cruiser. Why not? Eh? There doesn't seem to be that many merchant ships in this convoy. Mostly escort ships for this cruiser. So uh, we've got the big juicy target, and uh, maybe we can take a cruiser as well. This will not be ideal. We've already sunk three military ships today. That's not what we're really here to do. We're here to sink the merchant ships. But the way it's just fell for us, it means that, well, we had to defeat those destroyers. They were going to kill us in that 20 to 30 meters of water around Bear Island. So, yeah, no option there. But, um, 
And the cruiser's a cruiser, isn't it, at the end of the day? But I do not want to engage its escorts. There we go, six knots. Distance. A long way away. Eight kilometers. Let's try and close in. Getting quite close. There's a lot of angry escorts out there. I'm not sure if that's the one that's coming towards us or going away from us. Ah. I think that's the one that's going away. But it sounds like we've got one coming up from the back here as well. Hmm, maybe this wasn't a great idea. Alright, there is one going right over the front of us. Okay, maybe she's at depth charges incoming. This could be close. All hands brace. Bulkheads closed just in case we take a hit. Sounds like it's slightly shallow. I think we got away with that. I think we got away with that one, boys. Okay, a bit of time has passed. We've managed to evade those um, escorts. However, there's another cruiser. It's a town class cruiser. So, this was the, the delayed ships. As you can see, if we look towards our, um, the 90 degrees, that's where all the escort ships are dancing. We've managed to sneak away from them. Uh, and over here, you should see the, uh, the Soviet. Oh, those merchant ships. The Soviet ship gone by? I guess it has. But we've got a town class one. Where's that Soviet ship? I'm just sorry, I'm slightly intrigued. Where the hell's that gone? Is that hiding behind another one? So he's kind of wasting time, but... Oh, there it is over there. Okay. Yeah, so that's that, that sail pass. As you can see, that's some time has gone by, but to our luck and fortune... Um, we've got a a Royal Navy, the Berwick, HMS Berwick, is sailing right towards us. Unbelievable. So we miss out on one heavy cruiser, but we might be able to bag another. Fantastic. There we go, county class. Let's get that locked in. Um, speed, is this going to be six knots as well? Thanks for that. Saw that wave coming in, rolling over, just as we we're going to do a speed check. All right, let's get the periscope down a little bit more. Okay. Almost there. Seven knots, perfect. 
distance. That's okay. I'd rather have the, the odd way of going over than have my periscope too exposed. 1400 meters, perfect. Right, 57 degrees, we've got T3, T3, T1, T1. Right. Flood or choose. Uh, we want you to go, yeah, 1500 meters, then turn right. Achieves one to four, fire. As soon as these are gone, we are going to book it and go. We're not going to hang around for those escorts to come back. Right, all gone. Take us down, let's get out of here. Okay, it's a confirmed kill, and look at that, wreckage of another heavy cruiser sent to the bottom. You can see all the escorts are turning around, coming straight for us. So we are going to charge as fast as we can this direction, and as soon as they catch up to us, we'll uh, dive down. Fantastic. I think that's probably us out of torpedoes now. I'll just do a quick stop, Jake, but um, yeah, I think we're pretty near the limit. Hi everyone, right, we seem to have managed to evade the <laughs> all the warships, um, so that's good news. Uh, we're going to head north just to try and break their, their hold and then we'll probably start heading our way back to port. Uh, we've got a long way to go all the way back here. We do have some more torpedoes, we've got them loaded, um, and we'll see if we've got any targets of opportunity on the way home, but um, I don't want to be picking a fight with the rest of these escorts, so um, I think we'll call that a day and say well done us um, we came out on top we're still alive and um, yeah they, they you know we'll sink a cruiser they can keep a cruiser I think that's fair I think that's fair don't wanna, we don't want to poke the, the bear too much do we so So, as we make it back to Bergen, our home port, campaign mission complete! Um, weather Station Bear Island. Skipper, your successful deployment of an automated weather station on Bear Island has greatly improved the ability of the Kriegsmarine and the Luftwaffe to plan upcoming operations. Your careful planning and execution of the mission allowed our forces to... gain a valuable strategic advantage. And your skill as a U-boat skipper has earned the respect of your peers. Well done, skipper. We get five thousand, oh, sorry, eight thousand uh, Reichsmarks or Deutschmarks, um, two hundred rep uh, reputation boost, and improved weather forecasts for our next patrols, which is fantastic. So we started off. Um, well, this is going to be a short one, isn't it? The Empire Flagstaff was sunk. Our sources inform us that this ship was headed from unknown origin to an unknown destination. Ooh, very mysterious. With utilities in the cargo holds, the ship's gross registered tonnage was 7,234 tons. It was registered in the UK. And that's it. <laughs> that's the only merchant ship we sunk. 
but it wasn't about the merchant shipping today. Uh, so 7,234 merchant tonnage sunk, 21 days and 5 hours at sea. Usually you would say that's not particularly great. Look at that, we travelled 7,374.9 uh, kilometres. But this is the story. We sunk three Black Swan class destroyers, which boxed us in around the cove in Bay, uh, Bear Island. We then sunk the Empire Flagstaff, a Liberty transportation ship carrying utilities um, as part of a task group. And although the Soviet cruiser managed to get by us, HMS Berwick, the county class cruiser, was not so lucky and we sent her to the bottom with four torpedo strikes. Um, our objective was to free up a space in our storage for the weather station, which we did. <laughs> That's an odd objective, isn't it? Uh, we reached the destination, which was Bear Island. We sent the group on shore. We scouted the area. We built the weather station, received the transmission from the weather station to confirm it's all working, and we returned to port. Yes. But well, we sent the Black class, a black swan class, black swan class, black swan class, and finally HMS Berwick. Fantastic. So, something different this week, not our usual quarry at all. Um, we'll get you 606 refit, uh, more torpedoes, more fuel, make sure everything is spick and span, and we'll be heading out on a patrol next time. Hopefully, we're not too far from completing the Arctic Convoys now, and we can turn our attentions to some other campaigns. I think predominantly Operation Drumby on the American coastline. Uh, so join us for that in the near future. Take care, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>